Welcome everyone, you may own a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip and you want to use the cover screen OS, here is exactly how you do that. So first of all, make sure you download it from the Play Store and then tap on Open. You will need to select your Google account to use cover screen OS, tap on your account. Now it's going to say welcome and your name, just tap on the arrow and you're going to see here, grants appear on top permission, grant accessibility service and grant notification access. So we need to grant all of these. Let's tap on grant appear on top permission. You're going to see here the cover screen OS. Tap on this toggle. And then you will need to go to multitasking. And you will need to reopen up the cover screen OS. Let's go back. Now you'll see here enable accessibility service. Tap on this one. Then tap on where it says installed apps. You're then going to see cover screen OS. Tap on this one. Just make sure you turn on cover screen OS here. You do not need to turn on the shortcut, okay? Just tap on this toggle, it will give you this warning. Just tap on allow. And then we need to go back into the cover screen OS app. Then we'll tap on grant notification access. We'll tap on the toggle for cover screen OS. And then we'll tap on allow. Then we'll go back, tap on while using the app for recording audio. Find, connect and determine the relative position, tap on allow as well. Now tap on next and it's going to show you how to use cover screen OS but you're watching this video so let's show you. Okay so moving to the cover screen here, so let's double tap here and you'll be brought to well, the lock screen so you have all the basic information. If you slide from anywhere to the left you'll see the notification view regardless, however in order to access the regular Z Flip widgets, you need to slide from the far right, okay? So slide from far right to left, and you can see the regular widgets. However, if you slide from anywhere else to the right, you can see you have the option to add cover screen OS widgets. This seems to be broken at the moment. You tap on plus, select the widget, and then it will show up when you slide. On top of this, if you slide down from the far right, you will have the regular control center for your Z Flip. However, if you slide down from anywhere else, let's say the middle, you're going to have the cover screen OS control center. And of course the toggles, I mean they're going to be the same, okay. Uh, there is no option to slide across, unlike the regular Z Flip control center here. Now if you slide up from the bottom, you're going to be brought to the music player, alright. If you slide up from the bottom far right hand side, you're going to be brought to the wallet. Honestly it's kind of awkward doing a slide up, you'll get used to it. However, my fingers are cramping, uh, so that is just something to keep in mind. If you tap on the screen once, you'll be brought to the app view. You can scroll around, and from here, you just tap on the app you would like to open up. Do keep in mind, features like the search, for some reason, cost money. Like, I really don't know why. You can see, uh, you know, 98 99 for a lifetime, please. <laughs> no. Uh, so, if we just open up an app, you can see... We now have the app for the accessible right here. Now, in order to close out of an app, you just slide up like so, okay? And um, yeah, so do keep in mind that with some applications, I went to the calculator when I opened up Chrome. So this is quite buggy, but there we go. We're now on the internet. When you're trying to search stuff up, it won't give you a keyboard, okay? You can see that, that ain't really a keyboard <laughs> back to 1950. You know, I actually forgot how you use this. Oh, you just tap it a bunch to select the text. Yeah, I think no thank you. So you definitely want to be using voice typing, which you can tap on the voice button there for. And then, um, yeah. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.